Hi, fifth graders. Let's do a recap of today's lesson, biotic and abiotic factors. Remember, biotic factors are living things, such as bacteria, a bumblebee, and a tree. Other living things can be a family, so human beings or people, a tree, a cow, a bird, a lemur, and a dolphin. Abiotic factors are non-living things. This is wind, lakes, rain, sunlight. Remember, trees are not abiotic factors because they are living. Some other examples of abiotic factors are non-living things, sunlight, wind, rain, water, and soil. Some of these were also mentioned beforehand. Remember, abiotic factors are the non-living parts of an ecosystem. Abiotic refers to non-living physical and chemical elements in the ecosystem. Abiotic resources are usually obtained from the lithosphere, the atmosphere, and the hydrosphere. On the other hand, biotic factors are the living parts of an ecosystem, the animals, plants, and microorganisms. Biotic factors are living or once living organisms in the ecosystem. Biotic components shape an ecosystem and are the living components in the organism's environment. Last recap, living things, biotic factors, proteins, plants, animals, bacteria, fungus. Abiotic factors, non-living things, water, soil, air, minerals, light. Thank you.